you've never even seen the final boss, have you? We've never fought it. and burgers. Nobody can, so they can hear me, but not you. I very much appreciate that you didn't like hostile take over the stream there. That's the sign of a good friend, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but uh, I mean, you know more about Shaman King, so. I I, <laughs> I I know anything about Shaman King. That's kind of the the qualifier with with Shaman King. You have to kind of first know. A little bit about it. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Let me see if I can find my first. I'm assuming I got Eastern C Eastern Cemetery is the first level. Okay, Eastern Cemetery, Northern Fields. After beating Sorcerer Guy, go to the right in the platform. It's the only Sorcerer Guy. Sorcerer Guy. East Cemetery. Reach second part and put out the fire in the bottom left. I'm pretty sure I got that one. I'm pretty sure anything in the Eastern Cemetery I probably got. Oh, shoot. What up? I don't know how we necessarily fix this, but uh, I just realized that my voice is coming out of your speakers, and it's really hard to hear. Speakers? I was going to say, well, you could put, yeah. So it's being picked up on my mic or something? to explain um but it sounds like i'm coming to your speakers it's a little hard to hear i was about to say why why why, why would my voice not be on like uh, like desktop or whatever but you don't have a headset so that wouldn't make any sense yeah i mean i can turn i can probably turn you down a little bit no i need to go up if anything you need to go up why do you need to go up You're fine. No, like on stream, I'm quiet, sir. Why? No, you're not. I beg to differ, even though I don't have the audio on the stream one. So I, I wouldn't do. know a damn thing. <laughs> Say something? How can I stage a hostile takeover if they can't? If I'm too quiet. It has to be a noisy hostile takeover. I mean, I can hear you. I want you to hear the stream like I'm hearing the stream right now. That'll make sense. I suck at explaining these things. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, I, I obviously have to be hearing it the way you do because I can hear you pretty fine. You're quieter yeah, no, than. No, I mean, what I mean is like mute all the sounds and then just I'll say some shit and you unmute your stream so you can hear it. That way there won't be echo and you'll know what I mean. What? What are you talking uh, about? Turn the, okay, so you you have the you have the Twitch page with your stream up, correct? Yes. So, in order, well, I mean, there can be echo. It's fine. You hear me, but uh, so unmute it, 
I'll talk, and then there's going to be obviously a delay between what you're hearing now and what's going to be heard on stream. Listen to my voice when you hear it on stream. It's weird sounding. Like, quiet. Well, you stopped talking, so now I can hear you anymore. Talk, talk, blather, blather. Talk, talk. Do it again? Something? Then I, but then I need to uh, think of something to say, and I don't know that I have anything to say, except apparently uh, Shaman King is art, because it says you're playing art. I mean, maybe you sound a little quiet, but I'm not hearing it, dude. Sound like far away. Sound like far away. I don't, I don't, I'm not experiencing this at all. I don't, I don't, I'm not experiencing this. I wish I could explain it better. I don't know either, and I don't know how to fix it. So, like, I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. So, like, I don't know. I don't know. Let me think for a second. Um. Yeah. Well, I mean, whatever. No, but uh, uh it. I can't. I can't ex words. I'm tired. It's Sunday. Um. Hell, it definitely sounds like I'm like far away. Like you can tell that I'm coming through his speakers, and I'm not like a part of the the, the desktop background sound. I don't hear that. I, I, I don't. I don't know what I literally. I do not know what to tell you, man. Like I don't I I I can't I can't remember what you told me. Like I don't I I I can't I can't remember what you told me. Let me hold on, I just had a thought. I mean, I, I haven't changed anything about my setup, so I don't know. I mean, I, I haven't changed anything about my oh setup. Oh, God, shut so up, me. Shut up, me. Damn it, okay, I was gonna refer back to, like, the last, uh, Shaman King stream we did, and I realized, shoot, you didn't get affiliate till after that, so it's gone already. Is it? No, it's not. It is. Fuck, it was literally, it was there, like, when I started the stream. It, it really, it expired, like, li apparently. So, well, that's fucking dumb. I don't know how we would you only be noticed. Have, you, well, no, I guess they still do expire when oh you're Oh my god, why are you, you so like, loud now? You have, like, six weeks as an affiliate as opposed to, like, two when you're not.
like it, it literally just expired then, which is stupid dumb. Yeah, I've always hated that I can't keep those around. Which reminds me. I was going to start um, uploading the uh, Tales, of Tales of Symphonia streams to uh, a YouTube channel. I don't know if it's going to be mine or the LHA one, but it's going to be one of the YouTube channels. Luckily, I have an idea. So it's. Oh, God, I fucked up. But, oh, you know. Wow, damn it, he's the kind that doesn't die. I was gonna do that and then just turn the audio back on. And then, um. The first one is you coming from the left entrance. Oh, son of a. Uh, well, we can fix this, actually. We can just grab the power dragon out of here. Right? And then. Is horrifying. It's it's amazing and I love it. Um so the first door you see in the next room there should be a ring above the door. How do you Oh yeah, well I probably haven't done that, so or I probably did actually because I came in here for some other shit. So I want your goddamn ability. Except the the issue is figuring out where the damn door this thing is supposed to be. This is really awkward. I've got the freaking GBA at the bottom of my screen now. No, I don't. No, 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 no. Damn it. I didn't look at my shit. And now I'm the God damn it. Organizing this shit. Now I, I like. It looked to be some sort of royal pumpkin. Cloak. I think that. that um, As L infiltrated, infiltrated your game? Uh, I don't know, maybe. I always thought that- oh, son of a bitch. Really? Really? I had to get poisoned? It's about how much shits I get. Hopefully it runs out and doesn't just keep going until I'm, like, dead, because that would be like- Shit, that uses all my god- well, this is a good start to this. This is just this is just like everything about today is is great. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's like Pokemon Poison, where it's just there until you deal with it, or Why if it's just fast like an RPG type of there. effect, where in some RPGs it'll run out at the end of the battle if it doesn't carry the battle. The battle. Right. It's like fast forward disabled or something. What the hell? The hell? Oh. Well, I didn't know I could do that. That's neat. Apparently, because it's not working. Alright, well, that's neat. I actually get punished for dying? What the hell? Maybe this time I won't get poisoned, though. That'll be nice. Okay, so we are... You know what? I know why everything's loud, because the whole thing got turned up when I tried to fix things. Why did I do that? I was I wanted to use that later. Well, let's just the, the I can fix this and then everything else will be fixed. And I'll have my shit back. Okay. Now I got him. Where's the... Where's the door? Where's the door? Just looking for a door. That's not a door, that's a rock. And that's just a totem tower. Where's the 
there's a there's apparently a door somewhere. What? Wait, what? Oh my god, this is already really annoying me. Like, the way this guide is isn't particularly helpful either. On the first door in the next room. The first door, but there's not a door. Is this. What? No, don't throw at me. 16, JRL4. L4, I'm assuming, is. This is 4. Why is. Why am I dumb? I mean, not. One thing about guides is not everybody, like. Somebody wrote a guide or two back in the day a long time ago that. Uh, not everybody, like. How do I explain this? Um, people kind of, like, use different. Like, differing. Um, Where? Like identifiers for certain things why, in the game, why does and that they tend to write it as why? that. Why does that? Like they'll write it as they identify it in their brain. They won't write it in like a more generalized way, to where everybody will get it. Shit or they'll time. they'll leave out certain details that don't seem important to them, but are actually really important to the reader. I've noticed that a lot. The fact that I've died twice doing this mundane task fills me with not good feelings. Oh my god! I wish... This is 99% because I don't really ever spend a whole heck of a lot of time with these games, but I wish I didn't suck this off. I was watching, uh, you ever heard of Ant Dude? Yes, I've watched a couple I started of watching him like two years ago, two and a half years ago. I thought, at first I thought he was another one of those like, I started noticing a lot of channels kind of like his back then that were all kind of the same format. I thought, oh god, it's another one of those that, you know, looks flashy, but is kind of the same as the others. But no, I actually really started to like Ant Dude. As a matter of fact, I very much enjoy his videos these days. And I watched his recent one on Sonic fan games. And uh, somebody is working on a PC remake of Sonic Advance. Called Sonic Advance Revamp. And it's basically Sonic Advance without the screen crunch and better enemy placement. And some small tweaks to, like, the level design to make it flow better. And with more characters, I've been playing it. It only has um, two stages with four acts or four, uh, two stages, two acts each. There's like a bunch of unlockable characters if you go back and do stuff. I've just been doing that for fun, and it's fun. It's, it's a fun time. I can't. I want to see more of this game. To be honest, I'm bad. I'm bad at Sonic, but I did not grow up the Genesis. I've never actually owned a Sega console in its own lifetime, so, like... I have never owned a Sega console either, so... Like, the Genesis was the console that got away from me. That got away, like, when I was younger. I always wanted a Genesis, but never got one. And I've tried to, like, sit down and actually, like, play and learn Sonic games. Like, I bought Sonic Mania for that purpose. And I got a little ways into it and decided I'm just not good enough at Sonic, and I feel bad, and I haven't played it since. <laughs> Figures, and I already had this one, so that was basically just a giant waste of time. Nice. I know sometime in like I think it was 2008, I actually sat down and got most of the way through Sonic 2 and really enjoyed it. Played a little bit of three, but I never like beat either of them. And it's been a goal of mine to like get about as real of an experience as I can with both games. Like I've got, so I've got a, a six-button Genesis controller that I'm using. Um, like I want to actually like play through. Like, those two classic Sonic games, because those are the ones that appeal to me, and I thought, well, maybe if the Advance games were good, I'd check them out. And apparently, Advance 1 is good, 2 and 3 are mixed. Are mixed. So, 
looks like. 2D Sonic looks super cool. Yeah, I've been wanting to do... Uh, I, I'm going to stream a, a Sonic Advance at some point. Because I think that would be fun. Okay, so... There's just a lot to, like... As a lifelong, like, Mario player, there's certain things you have to throw out the window when playing Sonic games as opposed to Mario, and it's taken me some time to learn that. And I would love to... It's been a goal of mine, and I'm probably going to do a series on it by either streaming or on YouTube, where I just focus on doing the most organic, like, playthrough through Sonic 2 and 3 as I possibly can. Sonic 3 slash Knuckles, obviously. But, uh... Like, the editing's going to be minimal, unless I really, really fuck up in some part, then I'm probably going to cut out, like, some of the failures. But editing's going to be minimal. Um, I want to do it on my, um... I w the original idea was to do it on my analog SG, but... Um, I don't have a way to broadcast it to my computer currently. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed to uh, using the, uh, the Fusion emulator because it's actually really good and incredibly accurate. I'd be fine with using that method. If I have to. But I just, it's been a goal of mine to actually sit down and play some classic Sonic because I feel like as somebody who grew up during the 8 and 16-bit eras, me missing a lot of Sega Genesis stuff is kind of blasphemous, so I wanted to go back and, and like, focus on playing through some of those things and actually getting an appreciation for them. Oh shit, there were more in Jungle Ruins. Fuck. Yeah, no, well, I, I, I like Ant Dude. He's a good dude. Who? Ant dude. Oh, you said uh, oh, you said Noel, and I was like, I thought you said Noel, and I was like, Noel's here. That's neat. <laughs> I guess we're going back to Jungle Ruins because I'm gonna try to find some on Megaton. I really wish I knew which ones I had and which one I didn't. That would make this so much easier. Um. Level two is this one. So direction hide that. So in the second part, go up and then cross the bridge. You'll find it in plain view, which means I probably already have it. So. Yeah, I downloaded two other Sonic fan games from that video. <coughs> um, one I tried, and it was um, a remake of Sonic Chaos, which is a Game Gear game, in like a Sonic Mania style. And I got it up and running, and it's amazing, but I cannot get my controller to work with it properly, and I know I can figure it out. I mean, I can obviously just test other controllers, but I'm being stubborn, and I want to use this 8-bit Do M30, because it's a literal six-button Genesis controller. <coughs> like, the best possible way for me to play the game, the way it's supposed to be played. So, like, I want to get it working. I know I can get it working. It's just going to take some time. I just didn't have the, the energy to do it yesterday. You know, that kind of shit scares me about doing other stuff. Second part, go up and then cross the bridge. What scares you? Like, like, I don't know, just all this compatibility bullshit. It's all intimidating to me trying to do emulators and whatnot. So, yeah, I've definitely come over here before, probably. <laughs> it's really really simple and straightforward. I mean, granted, <clears throat> you could argue that I, maybe I have bias because I've been dabbling with emulators for 17 years now, literally. But, <clears throat> I would honestly say most, like, 90% of emulators are really straightforward and easy to use. And really, unless you need to get into some of the more technical stuff for reasons, it's, it's pretty much just grab emulator get ROM slash ISO. Yeah, but then like Run some game. some are better than others and stuff, so it's like kind of weird. I don't know. Well, 
plumbing, yeah, because there were some that were considered standard back in the day, but newer ones or newer ones have come and usurped the throne. You're now the better ones to use. Or in some cases, older ones have been resurrected from the dead and have become the better tool to use. There's a website that I'll link to you that, um, like if you're ever looking for an emulator, like check out that site and look for like the one for the console you want. It gives you, it actually like has user generated rankings for <coughs> like each emulator for the consoles. You can see what you're getting into and if some are like really close, it gives a detailed explanation as, as to how they're different so you can make your choice. Like. This one maybe gets a higher rating because of this, but if it's not something you're interested in, then this other one would also work. Good lord. Ooh, he just shot me. Oh, have to destroy a totem. No, I think he's on the right way. I don't do this often enough, to be honest with you. Oh, shit. Well, throw things at me, it's rude. I don't like it, because I'm too lazy to dodge all that shit. Oh no, I just accidentally wasted that thunder shield by grabbing a normal shield. It's unfortunate. Oh, you, you missed. Man, everyone's doing that freaking Pokemon thing on Twitter, and I'm like, I don't know what to pick, man. What Pokemon thing? They're doing, post a picture of yourself, and you're a gym leader, post a picture of yourself, your name your type, and, uh, like, pick three Pokemon to be your team. Oh god, that'd be tough. I'd... That'd be tough like... for me, because I'd probably be a gym leader similar to, like, Palu from Gen 1, where I just have or Palu from Gen 2? Uh, yeah, Gen 2. Because he just basically has his team from when he was the champion. Yeah. He has this nice mixed team. Yeah, I tend to use, uh, like, a variety. And I just, I don't really have, a lot of my favorite Pokemon don't fall in this. Like, like my, my, like my most favorite Pokemon would actually probably form a pretty nice team. I mean, I like Garrett. Like, I don't think I could pick just one type. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know if more of my favorites go to one type or the other. I'd have to actually seriously. And I don't know it. what type would like represent me, you know. Be a dark type because you're an edge boy. You think so? Dark type? I mean, I do like some dark types. Scrafty's my favorite, so that works. Scrafty's pretty awesome. Dark Fighting's kind of an interesting type. It is. I just, I really love Scrafty. Also, speaking of somebody who just beat, I didn't just beat, but I played through Soul Silver a couple weeks ago. What is this? <clears throat> Blue is one of the hardest fights in that game. Holy shit. Like, in Gen 2, like, Gold and Silver Crystal, he's not that bad. But because they elevated the levels to some degree in Soul Silver and Heart Gold, oh my god, he's tough. It was a fun fight though. Oh Jesus. That might be one I just had to skip. Because it refers to the levels key, and I have no idea where the hell that is. And I remember the one of the southern caverns levels being really annoying to navigate. So, what is a dark area? See that that kind of goes with that thing I said earlier, where some yeah, of, like leave out some specifics that they don't feel are important, but when you're actually reading it back, those specifics are super important. That kind of annoys me. I'm trying to think of an example that I oh, when I was playing uh. When I first played the Resident Evil 1 remake back in the day on the GameCube, when it came out, I was reading a guide because I got confused and a little lost. And so I think I I played it pretty heavily for a couple days, and then I I came back to it after a week because I had to I just didn't have a chance to play it. And I'd forgotten something, 
so like looking at the map in game wasn't helping which the maps in resident evil games are actually super helpful like i just couldn't remember something so i looked up i looked up a guide and the way that it was like written out it was like they left out specific details it was like kind of confusing to me to figure out how they were like Tower level six. Let's try the tower level six. And am I? And then I realized they were confusing the characters left and right, or the, like your own left, like the room, like the way you're facing in the room. They were saying it the characters left and right, but the way I looked at it up until then was like my left and right while I'm looking at the room. But no, it was the other way around. They were doing it like they were looking at the room and going by left and right, but I always did it by the characters left and right, which I feel like is what most people do, do in those games. So that threw me off. But I made the mistake of reading one uh, when I first played Resident Evil 4 by the same guy who made that Resident Evil 1 one. It was like most, one of the most poorly, poorly written guides I've ever seen, so I gave up on it pretty quick. Yeah. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and make it to the last level um, and see, because there's still a couple levels I have to go through and see how many I'm missing, because I think I've only got a maximum of four left um, to do. Um, so if there are any in those last levels, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna try and get them, and then we'll see what happens. Um, actually, I'm gonna use those. I also really need to turn this down because this is like kind of obnoxiously loud for me. So what's everybody else up to tonight? Why is this loud like this? Oh, that's weird. Anyone up to anything good tonight? Sunday night? Yeah, I didn't even, I, oh, geez, you know, I didn't even really talk about why this weekend was going to be, or why this whole week was going to be weird. My sister is apparently coming in t into town, which is going to be a thing, because <laughs> I am already have too many people in my house, I say, having only two other people in my house. You know what's dumb? I'm walking through here because I wanted to get healed at the end, and then I just healed myself with sushi. It's fine. Alright, so who should I play as next? I played a Sonic and Shadow so far. I've got Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Cream and Cheese, and Blaze the Cat. I kind of want to play as Blaze the Cat. Yeah, I was going to say Blaze the Cat. Well, she has a double jump, a hover, boost gauge charge, and mid-air quick switch. She just kind of seems like the the right choice for some reason I don't know. And it's dumb, I, I really I have I still haven't started reading Shaman King. The manga, which I should do. Oh. Holy crap she plays school. Industrial area, second part okay, no, 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 no one's already done. Level one. So I know like nothing about like plays the cat and some of these characters, but I don't really play Sonic, but she's kind of cool. Kind of enjoying this. Hmm. So I think three are three of the last Megatoma are in the levels I haven't done yet. So I'm really only missing one. Which is good and bad because I also have no idea which one I'm missing. So, if I obviously struggle really hard with the final areas and the last boss, then I'll uh, the last couple of bosses really. Then um, I'll see what's up. I think this is four, right? Insight below the fourth ring at the beginning of the level. Left entrance, okay. 
So backwards. All right, so we gotta. Hang on, hang on. Can't grand tau dragon our way out of this one. We gotta. You know, it's funny. I think. Um, I dug out my Game Boy Advance and uh, put this in and tried to do this level and I died immediately. <laughs> I do remember this like, like this area getting, uh, pretty obnoxious. I want to be turned around, but I don't want to walk. I hate that in games. When you're on a tiny platform, you just want to pivot, but you just can't. And I think what killed me was this, actually. Not this, but, you know, whatever. We'll get to it in a second here. Fire, thank you. And I didn't do what I thought I had to do. Posted your Pokemon gym team? Awesome. That's cool. I need to pick a goddamn type. I keep thinking psychic, because, like, I'm a psych major. You know, or I have a psych major. I have a, I have a degree in psychology. You know, so psychic. I, don't know. I was like, what would my what would my signature Pokemon be? Meowstic. I love Meowstic, but Meowstic isn't great. I will wait. You know, I'll wait. I'm 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 patient. To a fault, even. Actually, no, because it's going to be back. I don't know if it'll get any closer than that, actually, because I could just... Yeah, no. Okay. Well, I think another s antiquity strike will... Yeah. No? No, apparently not. Okay, that's why I hate these damn things. I have, a, I have an easier time coming up for... Um, coming up with, like, gym teams for fictional characters. Ground is cool. Water, water is a big one for me because I do like a lot of water Pokemon. Gyarados is a big favorite of mine. Um, and um, I really like Cedra. Cedra is cool. Cedra is a, a one that I've or Kingdra rather, but Cedra is cool too. Like I like that. Kingdra like, is really interesting. Yeah, I just remember Claire's Kingdra being pretty cool. So I would. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe I could do water. I do, like a lot of pain in the ass, so yeah. I do like a lot of I do like a lot of different water types though. Oh god Being no. That water no, 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 dragon, no, no. you can't pelt it with ice or thunder, so you kind of pet it with dragon or grass. Um, hang on. Let's Speed fast song. We'll put this one. Actually, let's just put all the attack levels on so that we can well and maybe just use this because I don't trust myself. Okay, so here we go. But your speed I just I don't trust this sheep. Or sheep. Yeah I'd have to take another look at water Pokemon, but like one of my OCs um I know would have an all normal team. She'd have like Chansey, Kangaskhan, and Miltank. And and there's some pretty cool water types, so I can down with that. Like I'm a big fan of Starmie, for example. I think about that every time I see a star you in Pokemon Go. I think about that. I'm like, oh yeah, Reckless likes this one. Starmie is one of my very favorites. Starmie is pretty cool. It was really obscure, like in um in the original games, I feel like. Well, it's only appeared at the, you can only get a star you at Seafoam. Yeah, and that's like Pretty really late in the game, and by then you have so many other options for water types, it's not even funny. I mean, Star Me is, a real, I think, even modern times is still a pretty. Oh, pretty you damn son good. of a bitch, you didn't even give me anything. Like bulky water type. Oh, <gasps> no, there it is. I like how excited I got. Apparently this is just yeah, it's a got kind of a unique typing of water psychic, so 
Hey, uh, well, I mean, is it, isn't Golbuck water psychic? Yes. So. Oh, right, this thing. We need to get some Dondondo going on here. By the way, Charmy, uh, Charmy, Shiny Starmy looks super rad. Although, I have one critique of it. Pull up the picture so I can collect my thoughts. Admittedly, like, Gyarados is one of my favorite Pokemon, I just said. But, like, it's so sad because Shiny Gyarados is the least exciting Shiny to ever exist because it was given to you. <laughs> Which is cool, but it's like, it also makes it not very exciting. Because everybody has Okay, so yours. what I don't like about Shiny Starmie... Uh, ...is I feel like... ...the gym should be almost like a greenish color. And then like the, uh... Like where, where it was gold on the normal sprite is like a pinkish red on Shiny Starmie. That should be a silver, and it would look so much better. Yeah, but we all know how... ...about how good they are at designing, uh... Shinies sometimes. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm watching this shit happen through OBS. That's why it looks small. I was like, why does my screen look so small? It's like, oh, because you're watching it through OBS like a dumbass. Oh, got a free Sariel. Who's that? Seems like some sort of angel. Reduce damage from fire. Okay, that's oddly specific. Ah, oh, really? I'm gonna be a bitch to you. Get into bitches. bitches. Wait, did we just say that at the same time? We did. That's scary. I don't know if I like that. I also don't know if I like this. So. I don't remember what this leads to. I remember it being a big deal. Or something. Oh man. Uh, um, no, this one, yes. Alright, uh, now keep Chloe, swap into the girl. Because we need a big thumb. There's something dirty about that. I don't know what it is. Oh. Well, I need a key. You know, when I played this the other day, I bet you I went all that way on the upper route just to find out that, uh... You, you, you son of a gajorkish. Oh man, now I gotta go all the way around the other way that I went already. That's really annoying. <sighs> but yeah, I'm uh. This week shouldn't be that busy either, and since there's no boss, it'll be kind of nice, so. I'm actually going to have like, a lot more free time this week. I'm not working because uh, SGDQ is a thing, and we'll found this out on stream when SGDQ is going on, so. No. Is it going on right now? Yep. My bad. But I also well, won't... Started, I don't know when it started, but it started a couple hours ago. I also won't be able to stream um, Thursday, so. Or at least I'm going to assume that I'm not going to be able to stream on Thursday because it's already awkward enough with my parents hearing me say shit, so. I'm not yeah, gonna... parents not streaming either. I know Shogun isn't streaming, that's as far as I know. Which is fine. I could, I'll, I'll take the week off to get some stream stuff done, like finish my... My raid alert that I've been working on forever. <clears throat> I 
think I might have an idea for what I might want countermeasures to be. Man, you bitch. Oh, no, I took a hit. I had a shield. How the hell? That's BS. Shoutouts to the Eggman song by Big Bad Bosses. It's really cute. I like it. Okay, yeah. Your hitbox is kind of bullshit there, buddy. You should probably fix that in the next demo. <laughs> That's a little obnoxious. Oh, yeah. I remember this now. Okay. We have the uh, the classic Smasher Smashers here. Smasher Mashers. I love the Smasher Mashers. You son of a Gundam. That. Instead, we're gonna golden thunder impalement this dog to death because I don't trust it. It looks sad, and that makes me mad. Cause it ain't sad; it's just looking to kill me. Maybe I'd be a dragon type gym leader, so I do like a lot of the dragon types. I don't think you're special, do you? <laughs> oh, frick! That's, That's supposed to be terrible. Dragon type gym leaders are—they're uh, pretty special, man. They're not just any gym not leaders. Not very many of them. No! Oh, you son sure. of a gun! Actually, it is the son of a gun because it's a gun. I just... Uh, 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 uh. Fast forward through yo st saying stupid shit in a stupid voice. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just... I'm in a lot of places. But yeah, I was actually pretty productive today. I can't be mad at myself. I, I had a I had a rather long to do list with like ten things on it and I did six That's six good. things? Seven technically. Well now I'm doing eight because stream was one of those things, so that's kinda nice. I've been trying to like to, to be like that too. I went for a little while where I wasn't exactly the most productive and I've also been trying to work on my uh, my sleep schedule a little bit. <clears throat> determine that this was a... Okay, I've determined that I want to use this too. By that, I mean I'm trying to keep it more consistent. Unless I'm, like, doing something that night, then it's, it's fine. Or I'll stay up later. Ways the Cats playthrough was done. That was super fun. Now who's next? Tails, Knuckles, Amy, or Cream? What do you want me to do? Um, play as my OC. Who's your, who's your Sonic OC? I don't know, but I should probably have one. I have OCs for everything else. I'll go with Nux. Why not? I actually had an idea for um, a Shaman King OC. Like they'd I be like a... classic Knuckles from like 16-bit era, but God, Knuckles in like newer games is kind of difficult to be a fan of. I just remember Especially that. Especially with that 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 theme song. Uh. I just remember the um the quote from the Sonic Boom TV show that like where he just like rattles on about something and it, like no one expects it, and it's like some mad wisdom. Yeah, I did get a lot of, uh, a lot of, you know, don't you drop Legos on me, son. Oh, you know what? You can leave this world and not alive. Um, yeah, I mostly did cleaning today, which is really impressive because, like, you know. Because, again, I normally don't clean. Right, and this is where we do the thing with the, where we use the golden thunder impalement on the sheep. Actually, what I can do. No, I can't. Not anymore. Ah, no. See, this, this son of a bitch does 57 damage. I was reading about the, 
the um the final boss. Final boss is attacks do fifty three. So I mean, Miss Sheep is real tough. Okay, well it's only doing ten. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take this off. I'm gonna do because most of the time I'm janking somebody when I'm using Golden Thunder impoundment. Where the hell? There it is. Karaoke speed three levels. I got two hundred rings. Jesus. Kind of sad that this demo only has four stages to go through. Wait, for I'll two stages, four acts. Because it's really good. Oh. Wait, what the hell? Apparently, if you equip Black Raven, you get a different attack with the Basson Soul. That's interesting and really? disappointing. Yeah, Ultra Cavalry Charge, which is not as fun. So I'm going to not use that. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to settle for Recovery Speed 2 instead of 3. That shape again. Man, y'all got me hooked on that Arl Knott's Baby Shark song. <laughs> I had it stuck in my head at work all day on Friday. Glad we have its baby time stuck in your head. My favorite, my favorite part of that song is when they get to Daddy Shark. He just goes, "Do." Oh, hey, you found the manga tunnel. Look at that. Yeah, there's one of them. I have more help now. One of these days, speaking of Magatama, one of these days, one of my video essays that I'm going to do is going to be uh, Danganronpa versus Phoenix Wright. Ooh, I like that idea. <coughs> Can you guess which one I like better? Oh, what the heck? Your health went down and switched to something else. Yeah, because um, I probably had a health up spirit on that. Oh, okay. I mean, I know you like Danganronpa better. Yeah, so. it's not that big of a... I feel like I'm taking crazy pills because I like Danganronpa better. Because most people, like... People are bonkers about Ace Attorney, and I don't... I mean, hey, I love me some Ace Attorney. I... But I'm a sucker for a good murder mystery type thing. Because, again, I used to read that shit all the time. You kid, son of a god, man. Story, and Danganronpa really delivers... Yeah, I just feel like Danganronpa is just like, it's just like better, man. For a time, I liked, uh... Bark! The Nonary games better than Danganronpa. Okay, the Nonary For games can, can suck a large barbed penis. Dude, no, the Nonary games were good. Like, the Nonary were good. games, ugh, the Nonary games make me want to vomit. They're so good, they were complicated they're, as all help. They are so good. They're interesting... But, like, oh my god. I feel like I'm watching the author, like, masturbate. But then again, like it, no, like it, the notary games, because you had a namesake with a shotgun. Yes, I'm so proud of my namesake from that game. Like, literally the least popular character in the game. That's real nice. <laughs> was I in call? I think I was in call with you. I think we watched uh, that one where he, where Tim kept watching the scene with him, uh, Killing Sigma with a shotgun over and over again. I, I couldn't stop laughing. It's so funny. Yeah, that was that was kind of funny. But like, oh my god. No, I, I, I definitely feel like so, like like definitely whoever wrote the Nunnery games like gets off on the on its own complicatedness. Like I like when he was writing it, he was like, "All right, man, let's see it." And then and then the villain is. Oh, he's dying in a car with a child that's written. Like, it's like... <laughs> he's like, oh, it's so complicated. But he's like 70 years old because he's... Oh, he fucking time-traveled. That's right. He comes from a future where the... Where the... Where the... Where the Furbies are purple. And they... And they... And they ate everyone. And that's why it's so evil. I 
I don't know. The, the, the nunnery games, I've got some... I've got some feelings about them. What did I find down there? Did I find nothing down there? I found that I needed a key if I went down there. Okay, gotcha. I remember now. Like, that's one of my big, big ah, issues fuck with... Fuck off, you stupid bee. That's one of my big issues with uh, VNs in general, is that, um... That's not fuck. Oh, it did, actually. That didn't. Oh, it kind of did, actually. That's one of my big issues with visual novels, is that, for some reason, out of all the mediums, out of, out of, out of all the ways you can tell a story, that's the one where they, like love to take their time and also be dicks about how long it takes. We were prepping in Steins Gate last night. They had, to, they had to stop the game to give us a 20 minute lecture about the different theories of time travel. I mean, yeah, no, that's a big thing at Steins Gate. What I, what I, little I know. Fuck, 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 fuck. I hate that those can hit me. That's such bullshit. The shotgun angle of his head. Oh, you mean um in... I always get the second and third titles in the Zero Escape series. Um, it was the last one, I know that. Virtue's last or... No, that's the second one. Zero Time Dilemma is the third one. Why did I do that? God, Yo just takes the pain. He just like... He's just like... Oh. He takes the pain. He takes in that pain. Uh, I don't trust you, so... Okay, I'm immediately probably wrong for this. I'm just gonna wait for that one. Oh, hello, secret. Took me this long to find some... No! Got it. Oh, that it is the wrong button that. that I pressed. This, this sucks. This sucks, but I ain't dying here. I'm not going to do that. It took me forever to get back to this point, so I'm not even going to... There we go. Now you see my... I don't know what you see, but maybe you should stop seeing it. Oh, that was Tim. I thought it was L. Good evening, Tim. Yeah, no, I <laughs> I have fond memories of laughing my ass off uh, in call with Funk, and I think Baron, when that scene was happening, every time it happened, I would laugh my ass off. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. Even when I think about it, it still makes me laugh. Your destiny. More like the key to my bowels. That doesn't make any sense. Put the key up your butt and unlock your bowels and you'll no longer be constipated. I wish I had the key to my bowels. Being able to actually control I have antidotes though. It would be like really nice. Sometimes it just doesn't make any sense. Like this morning I had breakfast and then immediately felt the pain. You little, you just like, all right, he's on screen. I can shoot his ass now. Get out of here. I haven't done as much creative work this weekend, I wonder. Yeah, like, to. I don't know, sometimes, sometimes bodies are weird. You... not stay down. Yo, you had to stand up and get shot? You had to stand up. You did that to yourself, man. She friendzoned me! You have done that to yourself. Oh, I see. If it's a dance fight, you won. If it's a dance fight, you'll get. <laughs> Friendliest friends that ever friended, and they friended all the way to Friendsville. 
That sounds like something you would say. It's like the Friendsville part. <laughs> I was about to say what what you think I would like go on a rant about being friend zoned. I mean, maybe you would. I don't know. I probably would. Let's face probably it. I would. I was say I know you pretty well. <laughs> no, but like sometimes bodies can be weird. Like I'm usually a two a dayer when it comes to bowel movements. But, Jesus, like, the last... how the fuck do you have time for anything else? But like the last two days, maybe it's because I've been tired for the last two days. I have not done my evening ones. Maybe my body just wants to push it all off in the morning one. That's, that's really doing. that blows my mind a wee bit. Like if if I if I have two in one day, it's a bad it's a bad time probably. I've had days where it's been three. Those Jeez. Aren't super often. Queen bitch's fake nails just went flying. What are we doing? Not sure. Dude, we're going to gyms. Oh my god, calm the fuck down, you crazy god robot. Miguel. Hell. 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 He's a tripod. I don't like this. It just reminds me of a Dragon Ball robot, this thing. It's like something you'd see in the legacy of Goku. Oh, like those red ribbon um, egg bots, yeah. Yeah, the egg bots. Oh, how did I do that? I never get anything so perfect in this game. Also, this level is still happening. Need I remind you, this level is still happening. There were a lot of egg bots in Legacy of Goku too. I do remember that. Also, hey Gohan, uh, we're still uh, on Namek. It's not a show. Like one of those AVG and chronologically confused things, but why the why the fuck are the first two games called the Legacy of Goku and the last one is Boo's Fury? Why not Legacy of Goku 3? Uh branding maybe. Probably easier to sell something without a three in the title. I don't know, Mario 3 was like one of the best sellers in the NES. Oh yes, because you need to play Mario 1 and 2 to understand Mario 3. I mean you really just have to understand the anime to play Dragon Ball games. So, like, if you just bought Boo's Fury and you'd seen the anime, you'd be fine. Oh, I, I, get, I, I got what Elle's talking about. He's actually playing one of the Notary games right now. Worth watching one or something like that. And I think I remember what spot he's in. Maybe. No, I don't think he... I think he's talking about... He's comparing it to the... To the uh... He said the queen. Wait. Maybe, maybe he is. I don't know. Didn't they call what's her name the queen bitch? I think so. My my girlfriend, whoever she was. I forget what her name. Oh is. yeah, from that game, right? So we got Miguel, and then we got dolls, and then I forget what the. I Fuck off, big man. <laughs> I've already forgot the one we just got. <laughs> Homing Penji. No, 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 no. No. Could have just been smart and then, you know what? Fuck you. I'm just gonna miss. Okay, it didn't. Good. Oh my god! Can this level just end? This thing's gonna come back around and shoot a ring at me, and I'm gonna go. Eat. Okay, maybe not. I'm trusting the game, which I should never do. No! No! Oh, Ace Attorney 6. Okay. Is that Spirit of Justice, I guess? I think so. Now you're gonna get... Yo! Yo! Oh my, no, 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 no. I hate these stupid fucking cheese guns. No, 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 I'm back down here. I hate this game. I thought I was going to beat it tonight, but I'm definitely not. I'm just going to sit here and cry. This game is like super freaking annoying, you know? 
I want to love you. I want I want you to give Shaman King a good name like it deserves. Oh, for sake, stupid crap. Ah, hello, secret. jump because there's all kinds of shit just go just go okay look we did it awesome thank god now we can grand tal dragon our way through that shit whenever we want thank you. Yeah. wait i'm not so sure that got me thinking i don't really know oh god damn it i'm not really sure how you compare ace attorney to something like don and rafa and uh, nine nine known ring games they're the same, but also so different at the same time. They're not that different. They both try to do the same thing. Oh no. It's pretty quiet. Looks like no one's here. <laughs> well, that just looks funny. Man, when I was a kid, I probably wanted to grow up and look like Marco. It was pretty close, you know, I had glasses, and was blonde. Well, I actually call them the X-Laws, that's kind of nice. The Iron Maiden, Jean! Dude, if your character is called the Iron Maiden, I pretty much already like you. It's just such a cool fucking title, dude. Prosopagnosia, one of my favorite works ever. I think I just remember one of my professors in college saying it a bunch, and I was like, I really like this word, dude. I keep saying it. Except it wasn't a dude that said it. It was probably, it was probably Professor Faulkner. She was a badass. She was like no, was 80. I was about to ask you, Professor Faulkner was a bird type gym leader. She was, like, uh, she was like 80 years old and rode her motorcycle to work. <laughs> oh, that's rad. And, like, took no bullshit. I loved her. That would be why I took, like, three classes with her, because I was like, she's too cool. I wish I had... Never mind. <laughs> she's pretty cute. She's got a five head, though. That's kind of thing. She's no June, let me tell you. Head? It's a, like a forehead, but large. No, I, I I know. I just don't really hear that in reference to a woman. Women can have five heads. <laughs> I mean, usually you say five head is a joke to somebody who's like bald or balding. Oh. I mean, does she not have a gigantic forehead based on her hairline? Yeah, like she you're kinda... so bald, your forehead's become a five head. You, sir, are extremely bald. Encourages, <laughs> encourages just under the table writing another note, like laughing his ass off, like he's wa been wanting and to do this his right, whole life. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Holy shit, I love that show. It was horror themed. Oh, yeah, I love, I loved Courage. Courage was definitely a very cleverly written show. Can we talk about What's the that? end of the uh, Doc Dribble uh, episode? Where it's just like the opera music. It's so good. I love that show. Fun fact, Eustace's voice actor died like midway through the show's run. And they replaced him. But they would still use like old clips from the original voice actor for certain like sounds and things that Eustace did. So you really never noticed that it was somebody different. Yeah. Also, that's not a fun fact. <laughs> this is a fun fact. Someone died. <laughs> I've got, uh, speaking of Ace Attorney, I'm rereading some stuff that else, and I've oh, got balls. a little ways to go before oh, I get balls. to Ace Attorney I'm 6. I'm only on Edgeworth Investigations 1. I've got, like, three more games after this to go, I think. Oh, Investigations 2, Apollo, and then Dual Destinies. Oh, I don't... I don't know how to feel about... 
Whoa, hello. What is happening? Is that their final boss oh. that hurts so much about? No, this is not the final boss. Looks final boss. -y. Just so you're just so you're aware. <laughs> this is not the final boss. This is just Marco. He's this is just this is just how he is. Like a crystal gun the fuck. fuck. Holy shit, he's like He's like, fuck, look at this son of the Evangelion fucking bullshit fuck. Yeah. I'm, wow. All right, well, I... So that's apparently fine. you should technically play them before Apollo Justice, because um, Apollo Justice spoils some things from investigation. I'm pretty sure he's playing Ace Attorney 6 right now, man. Yeah, that takes place after Apollo Justice. Yeah, so he's a bit late playing investigations there, bud. I was just clarifying that Jesus. You were just clarifying. Never mind. I'll shut up. I'll stop being I don't know if, this. I don't know how many people actually know that. That's why I had to tell me. Which is why I'm, I'm playing them in the order I am. And I'm glad I elected to play the investigation series. Because it's so freaking good. It's really good. You know what sucks is when you get wrecked by a boss and then you look at your guide and it's like, oh, too bad this is an easy fight and you're just like, huh. <laughs> you're just like, easy. all right, well then. Okay, apparently he doesn't have a whole lot of HP, but we'll figure that out later. Also, I really want to say that the British way. He doesn't have a whole lot of HP. Also, can we just appreciate that, like, my first file has 28%, and my second file has 85 and I only have, like, one more section of health? <laughs> I think there are only 12 Magatama beads in this game and three health upgrades, that's real ridiculous. Also, this game has a hard mode, why? Hard mode playthrough when? Never, never ever. You're an affiliate now, we can we can set you up a sub goal. I ain't gonna have no sub goals. I am not under an illusion that anyone will ever subscribe to me, so. If someone subscribes to you now, will you do a hard mode run? No one can subscribe to me right now. Oh, she haven't set up your affiliates. Nope. <laughs> Damn it. Boy, I should have I should have had you bet something against that because I would have won. That would have been slimy and underhanded. Uh, and you think I'm above those tactics, eh? I mean, I'd like to think so. I I, I tend to think I'm of the honorable sort. Mm. I am for the most part, except. When I think I can get away with nothing. Stop, being... Stop getting hit by the lasers. Alright, here we go. He's gonna try and stab me with his, his, with his giant toothpick. Yoda, you need more midichlorians. <laughs> midichlorians, Duke! Food bring. Uh, that did not hit me. Your bloody toothpick. Your bloody toothpick. Man, that was a fun demo. Sat him a lot of characters. Oh guys. my god. I guess I can try out the other fan game that they did. There's a remake of. Oh. In a similar oh vein to the Sonic god. Chaos when I was talking about this. Is, uh, a remake of Sonic Triple Trouble for the Game Gear, but in a 16 bit. I was. I was dumb. Kind of style. I was a fool. Oh, blah, 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 blah. No, now. There we go. No, I'm just gonna let you shoot fucking squares at me all day. Put that on my quote bot and smoke it. I don't have a quote bot. Put that in your quote bot and then, sm and then smoke it. No! 
I don't want to get hit by your Super Nintendo ass orange blobs. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna eat this hamburger. Okay, you stay. All right, you, you, jump. No. I ain't gonna get hit by your dirt, G. Get your dirty dirt out of here. I didn't have that much trouble with Legacy 2. Legacy, I don't know, Legacy 1's not difficult, it's just really weird, in my opinion. Also, these attacks, admittedly, do not do, like, any damage whatsoever. It's pretty, pretty great, actually. Right, unleash the pods. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. You son of a Google. You, why you gotta put... You know what, I'm just gonna... Oh, look at this shower. Look at this shower of bullets that he's making right now. Oh, come on, give me the... There we go. Oh, yeah, he is pretty easy, I guess. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, Legacy of Goku 2 is good. You should play that one. I like Legacy 1, but I'm weird like that. Legacy like, I know that game so well, I can beat it in a matter of hours. Uh, yeah, it's not a not very long game. Not that it's super long, but... Leg but Remember but when you were streaming it and I was playing along with you? And, like, I beat it the first day and then you had, like, two more streams? Like, what the fuck? I, just, I know that game super well. I know all the strategies because... Well, because, like, like that game, the, so. the beginning of that game is so rough because the fucking blue dogs will just murder your face. Oh, yeah. They're which awful. is, like, the worst thing ever. Um, you know what? I'm going to stick with buying hamburgers because I want to save some funds for when I need them. Okay, so. All right, so Crap, this is the cool. final area in the game, the ice lands. Wait, what happened to my UT entailment, yo? Get. No, 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 no. Don't you be blue near me. Shit, there's a fucking sheep. Well, it's one of those games where at first you're going to have to take the time to grind a little bit. What the balls happened to my... Oh. Then it becomes okay. a lot Make easier. Fair, because for some reason I thought that was the thing to do, but it's not. Not Grand Tau Dragon. He ain't gonna do me anything. He ain't doing me any favors. Where's Bass ba Basin? Yeah, I mean, Boost Fury, Fury is like a little bit easier, but it's not that much. I don't feel like. All right, sheepy sheep. Well, Boost Fury gives you all that equipment and stuff too. You cannot be near me. I'm going to get a restraining shit, order against you so that you are not near me and ramming me with your sheep head. Wait, where the hell are you all coming from? I'm pretty sure I already killed you, cars. Why do I get the feeling the sheep is respawning and not, like, the same sheep? That guy was the same guy, so. I'm just gonna wait so I can cobble this damn sheep. It's gonna be ridiculous. You little punk ass bitch. I hate this game. I hate this. Why do I always. Why is it the game simply cannot please me? Um. Oh my god. K. 
Can I just... Can I just... Can I just... I can just... Oh, that's amazing. Free heals, bro. Free heals! Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's actually really helpful. Oh, that makes me actually... That doesn't make me happy. It makes me not quite as sad. <laughs> Why that is not necessarily what I wanted to do, but like... Like... Like, boy... <laughs> I already hate this world. I'll just kill you because I really don't have the patience for anything else. Oh, nice. I don't know how well this is going to work with sheepy sheep, but, you know. No, I didn't mean to... I'm But I did it anyway. Like, so why don't you actually just be smart about this? Oh my god. You know what's gonna happen. If you jump on the box, it's going to jump at you, and it's gonna be able to get you unless you jump, so just jump. I feel like I had more to talk about tonight, and I can't remember what any else, anything else it was. <laughs> I seem to remember you mentioning you had something, but for what? Oh yeah, because I was going to talk about, oh good, I got the sheep spirit. Um, which probably does absolutely nothing. Mama, that's creepy. Fucking. What does it do? Turn into a small sheep and move at high speed. Um, I'll bite. What the? Oh, it's got startup. Is this? Can I just ram things? No, I can't even ram things. Now I'm just like lost a whole bunch of HP because I thought I was a sheep and I thought I could ram things because like that's what sheeps do look at this oh god I really don't want to have to do all this crap over again but you know what free heals bro and now I know what the stupid sheep does so I really don't have to worry about it god I love this I don't know if this was an intentional like game design thing that they did but like I hope it is, because it should be. Okay. I don't know that we're going to be able to beat this game today. You can do it. We have the, we have the strength. We have the ability. Would you not say that? Well, the good you news is... The Shaman King. Jump away from the blue guy. God. Hey, Why nah. that respond? hey, hey, none of that. None of that on my stream. Like, I did a bonus stage. 
like I ran back to the passage and you're you're Sonic so you're fast and then the enemy that I killed before respawned and all my rings just left my body. Not okay. A love hate like, relationship with the health system in Sonic. Yeah, it's a little it's a little awkward, I think. I think it's super cool, but I simultaneously find it incredibly annoying as well. Like it's a really unique way to manage health. And to be fair, in most stages there's a bounty of rings to get. I killed Wizard Man, so Wizard Man's not coming after me. We got a blue guy. He's he's here. Winky the frog, he's bad. Man, one morning this week I actually found that on YouTube and watched it and it was the best time ever. Watch what? The uh Donkey Kong Country VHS promotional video. Oh that, yeah. Oh such memories. Diddy, Diddy Donkey, <laughs> like, and it's just like, what the fuck? It's like such stupid shit, but it's amazing. I have expected like Bill Trinan to show up at some point, but I guess Bill hasn't been there quite that long. The zoo. Hey, you want a banana? Uh, no, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> I also like. Ninety four. I'm really nostalgic. How do you? How do you get like eight. the roundest, the three D? It was funny. I actually rewatched your uh, DKC one LP today, Tim, and it, it was funny hearing you reference that. And naturally, my comment on the first episode of of your video of the first episode is, uh, I remember that VHS. I still love reading my uh, my comments on your uh, FF4 LP because there I get really excited that you make Star Wars references and I'm like at a point in my life where that's like all right I've made enough Star Wars references. Oh man, that was another thing I wanted to talk about. Actually, my parents were watching Solo earlier. I went out to get my wa my glass of water, which I should take a drink from right now, actually. I went out to get my glass of water. <laughs> and my dad's sitting there, and he says, Someone's telling me the story. What's up with that? He had the, uh, he had like the, the descriptive audio on for some reason. <laughs> It was actually a, a real bitch to get it off because, like, um, I wasn't wearing my glasses. And also, I forgot how to do it, so it didn't help. Oh, balls. This is going to be fun. Oh, who are you? You bird? You bird? You like, bird? DKC, the original DKC is such a nostalgic game for me. Like, I rented it six months after it came out. And, like, I'd only seen a bit of it at, like, a... That, wasn't that a friend's? Was that, like, a summer camp thing that I was at? And... Like, I was hooked from, like, the get-go. It kind of blew me away. Like, I was so addicted. And this is back before Blockbuster had, like, five-day video game rentals. It was three days. I almost beat it in those three days. But that game... For, like, a first playthrough, that game's pretty tough. I got walled in the last world. Ended up buying it like a year later and finally beat it. It felt so good. So good. I don't know where I even got... Wow, this chest was amazing. You just opened a McDonald's Happy Meal, apparently. Burgers everywhere. And noodles? You got noodles from McDonald's, sir? In some countries, probably. I mean, Japan, probably. 
How did you Might as well waste a burger and pick. Never mind. I was gonna say waste a burger and pick up that one over there because she lost some health. But yeah, um, DKC is probably my favorite SNES game, and it's one of the few games that I actually. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. I have to say it's one of the few SNES games I can just pick up and beat in one sitting. Um, but I wouldn't trust my. I don't think I could do that consistently, considering last time. One of the times I played it recently, I like got stuck on Poison Pond, and it was like the worst thing ever. My best time beating it was like an hour and a half, maybe a little under an hour and a half. I know like the speed record is like an hour shorter than that. Oh yeah, no, well, I beat it. Now. I beat no a couple years ago. I remember so I was talking to Farron or somebody. I beat it like an hour twelve, and that was a PB for me. I don't know if I beat that though. In um. In Tim's LP, he talked about how, like, the fastest was, like, 44 minutes or something. I think. Oh! That... I'll have to look that up. It's been a while since I've played it regularly. Like, I usually play it once or twice a year, but, like, the last... I have not, so... Now, you're a bird. Um... Yeah, it was funny, because in that LP, Tim was like, mm, maybe I should stream it and try to get a personal best, and me thinking about that in 2020 is like, yeah, you should stream it. I'd watch that shit. I'll always watch another Donkey Kong playthrough. Oh yeah, I love, I love it. I really want to give Donkey Kong Country 2, and I want to stream Donkey Kong Country, honestly. Donkey Kong Country 2 is, like, the perfect sequel. It's like Terminator 2 to Donkey Kong 1's Terminator. Hey, so what am I doing with my life here? What's all this? Oh, there's a chest up here. I'm gonna get. Well, I don't know how I feel about that. It's probably just gonna be. Oh no, it's money. Good. Three is my least favorite, but it's not a bad game by any means. It's I really want to play fun. three. I really do. I um. I just remember Donkey Kong Land three. I actually really enjoyed that game too. I actually really like the music in Donkey Kong Land 3 because, like, it, it it's, like, metal versions of all the Donkey Kong 3 songs. I've never played I've never played or seen anything of Land 3. I'm waiting for Raukow to LP it because I watched his uh, Donkey Kong Land 1 and 2 LPs and they were pretty fun to watch. I'll definitely watch uh, Land if he does it. Or Land 3. Just because I really, I don't know. It's the one I remember. It's Tim's in chat. So, I don't remember, was the, the Donkey Kong Country 2 LP, like, semi-blind or something like that? Um, I recall him saying he had, he had beaten it. I started watching that one, and he qu he constantly questioned himself about whether or not he was going to, like, 100% it. The 3 one was totally blind, I think. Yeah, 3 was. I but don't like, know. But I, I watched 2, like, last year, and I can't even remember. He I want to say it was, like, semi-blind. Phil, Phil Breck. Chat. I think he I think he'd never done like the the like lost world stuff maybe cuz I it's it, he's he pretty much said as much that he beat it he just didn't he just didn't uh, you know what I don't trust this I need to soften these boys up I was going to ask like cuz from my memory it was like semi blind like what was your impression of 2 just from, like jumping into right after 1 having more experience with 1 than 2 like as a kid it like i had no words it's like starting out in the pirate ship section was just so cool that game kicked my ever loving ass it took me like several like months of back to back renting before i beat it yeah, I am. Um, well, I never had two as a kid, so that's part of the reason why I prefer one. But I never beat one as a kid. It I took me until two or three. It took me until the Wii to beat um the original Donkey Kong Country. I think literally as a kid, the only Super Nintendo game I ever beat was this Kirby Superstar. Superstar is super good. I'm also weird and that I really like Dreamland 3 as well. I uh, never played it. Got some really rad music. I know you'd be all about that music. Mm, 
I really liked Kirby Superstar's music to the point where um, I took my... Oh no, Kirby Superstar has fantastic music, some of the best. I took my boombox and sat it in front of the TV and recorded a cassette tape of the Kirby Superstar soundtrack. Didn't have YouTube in those days. So I basically went the wrong way first, which is... Oh, balls! Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me! No, you son of a gas nut! Ah, that couldn't have gone worse. I mean, I guess that could have gone worse, but it really couldn't have gone worse. I don't trust you, bird. I don't trust these stupid skeletons either, so... The sooner I can get the hell away from them, the better. Whoa, 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 whoa. That bird just came in from, like, exactly north of my head. Oh, that was the fuck! No, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh no, now I have to use all my goddamn noodles. You know what you get for that? You get a blast from Laser Moon. That's what you get. Care about you, stupid bitches. Okay, eventually poison does run out. Neat. Okay. Good to know. I figures if I'd have just gotten that goddamn key, the f why did why wouldn't I? Why would I look at the key and then not get it? That's just folly, man. That's just folly. That's just Trudley's folly. That's a reference, good lord. Also, I hate that into the antiquity it can't antiquity can't even kill the stupid silver goblins in one hit. Bothers me. Just bothers me. Jump. <laughs> Speaking of nostalgia, God, I've been feeling like playing Star Tropics again. Played that game yet this year. I wish I was better at Super Star Wars. Super Star Wars is hard. Well, the first Super Star Wars is fair. Empire Strikes Back is bullshit of the highest caliber. I actually know literally nothing about Return of the Jedi. I don't know if it's easier than... I think no. I hear it's easier than Empire, but... Return of the Jedi is actually good. I don't know if it was, like, harder than Super Star Wars, but... I think it's the easiest of the three. To be honest with you, okay. I've never played Empire. In fairness, but um, I think it's the easiest of the three. I'm really shit at Super Star Wars, so like that's a thing. Um, but I have played uh, Return of the Jedi, and I, I like it. So I can definitely, I, I, I definitely think it's the most playable of the three, and I think it's really good. Like, God, now I'm thinking about Tim's Empire Strikes Back LP. Like, I thought the game was interesting, but. That difficulty, like I like some hard games, yeah. and I I was almost putting a hard no on playing it in normal mode because good God, like <laughs> I do have a uh, a bit of a a bit of a dream that um should Tim ever want to do Return of the Jedi, he'll have me on for it because that's the one I kind of know a little bit. I don't know it that well, honestly, but like I I would have fun with it. <laughs> It's also, like, one of the few Star Wars games I know, like, anything about, because it's, like, that and Bounty Hunter are the two Star Wars games I know. And Rogue Scout... And oh, Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Was that... What console was that on? Uh, PS2 N64. and GameCube. Oh, PS2 and GameCube. I yeah. remember people really liking that one. I always enjoyed that one. It's it's kind of... I think, I feel like it's kind of... Rogue Squad was GameCube too, wasn't it? Uh, the third one was. The second and third one was. 
Yeah, my roommate's brother played Road Squadron 2 on the GameCube. I thought it looked super rad. I enjoyed watching him play it. Okay, so I get the feeling I'm gonna have to fight a Magister at the end of this one. I'm actually gonna, like... Oh, oh my god, god what I are you? I asking loaded questions like this, but now that it's on my brain. Um, Tim, have you ever considered doing Star Tropics for as part of 8-Bit Summer? Or in general? I don't know if you ever played it. Did I just miss? Oh my god. It's like my favorite NES this game next to Super Mario giant Brothers robot thing. boy can go... Like, do something with Peni. So oh, were you? Have you played it before? I think you mentioned that you played it before. I could be wrong. I love that game because it starts out so like, oh, normal island adventure, and then it goes batshit crazy, and it's so great. Oh man, now I can't tell what Tim's answer. I always get the music from that game stuck in my head too. It's so catchy. Like I hum it all the time at work when I'm not working for anybody. So, I don't know what to do with this thing. Do I just like... Oh, there's... Whoa, oh my god, this thing is ridiculous! Speaking of 8-bit summer, I've been really enjoying the Crystallis LP. That, like I said when we were watching Star Wars things the other night, I never played that one, so I'm kind of coming at it blind, and it's reminding me a lot of Willow in some ways. <laughs> Makes me happy, so. I've been kind of enjoying that LP, too. But I feel like if I went and tried to play the game, I would have a bad time. <laughs> it's a game that definitely looks like it has a learning curve, but once you get past that, it's probably, you know, smooth as butter. Yeah, it's silk. So Seems like it probably has the issues that a lot of NES games have, so, you know. Oh, I did not mean to ignore your question there, Al. I'll read it out for fun. Uh, on the topic of Shonen Jump licensed anime games in the Game Boy Advance, did either of you ever play any of the Naruto Ninja Council games? Those were fun. Well, I can tell you Reckless's answer to that. Alright, well, what's your answer for me, then? Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> so, hot take. I, I don't like Naruto, so no, I have not played any, any of those. I may have seen them somewhere. I've never played them myself. They looked pretty good. The GBA Wait, was a real hot spot. Them, I've got them, so I can just send them over to you. I'm still pretty, uh... I'm still pretty de I'm going to beat this guy, I swear to God. Um, I'm still pretty de depressed that you Hockey Show never got a really good game. They had... Let me think. Consoles did they have a game on? They had a game on... Um, shoot, what was that? I used to see it a lot when I worked at Blockbuster, dating myself. I worked at Blockbuster in high school. They had a... Um, there was one for like the SNES or something. It was like a weird like card battle game or something. Hell, there's, no, there I was, was thinking of ones that actually got released in the West. That one did not. Oh. Well, Dark Tournament was the only other one. I, there were only two, I think. There was the Game Boy Advance one. PlayStation Wait. 2, Dark Tournament was on PS2. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Dark Tournament was on PS2. That's the one I used to see all the time. It intrigued me because the Dark Tournament's like my favorite part of the anime. Well, if it's not, then you have problems. Oh, it's actually it's like a straight-up fighting game. That might actually be interesting. It's probably not good. Please don't shoot your laser at me. Please don't shoot your laser. Oh, I don't like it. No. I mean, it I got like a it. net loss to the company that developed it. No! I don't like it. Apparently, it's a pretty poor fighting game. Like, the, like the, people like the art style and the way that it, other things work because it was true to the anime, but... Apparently the actual fighting mechanics were bad. I'm sure. I won't try it. Oh, I'm sure. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> I'm kind of sad that there are never any samurai episodes or 
Roni Kitchen is just known in some ways as. That would make for a really cool like open world game. Although I guess I guess a bunch of samurai games have just come out. He's like put Kenshin in one of them. Kenshin's such a fascinating character too. He's cool. I really like uh, Sanosuke as well. Man, I needed an. great. Come to think of it, I needed an Inuyasha game on the on the Game Boy Advance. There was an Inuyasha. Was it PS2 or a PS3 fighting game that I played at one point? Just Dude. Because, whatever. I'm. It was all right. <laughs> I'm legit excited for Yasha Hime. I'm gonna watch the shit out of that when it comes out. What that? It's a sequel series to Inuyasha about uh, like their kids. I don't know why, oh, but really? I'm I am a sucker. I'm a sucker for like anime that continue that. Can you just fucking murder me a little quicker? You stupid ass, you fucking robot. It's like something out of Mega Man, specifically like Mega Man X. It's got like, like the so. craziest fucking lasers that I've have refused to learn. See, people wonder why I complain about video games being hard. I'm not learning to dodge that laser at all. I'm just fucking too lazy. <laughs> I'm so bad at games, and it's like on it's like not on purpose, but it's like I don't want to have to expend effort, you know. I really wish this game had an easy mode. <laughs> It's so dumb because I don't have enough pride to play games on easy mode, or, or I don't have a lack of pride to play games on easy mode, but like, I won't, I, I, I'll complain about them in normal mode. Like Final Fantasy VII, should have played that shit on easy mode, but like, I didn't. Okay, he's looking I'll down, he's gonna fire his, okay, there we go. Okay, now he got that. I sh should have seen that one coming. Right. Now, if he lands, I can use the. Come on. Balls! <laughs> you want to talk some real obscure. Um, Shaman, uh, Shaman King, Shonen Jump, um, licenses, boy, they should have made a Sandland video game. Actually, shut up, that would be rad. <laughs> good old Sandland, that was a, that was actually really good. It was succinct, which I appreciated about it. No, I'm actually gonna wait to fire this off, because I don't know if I'm hitting him with it. I really want to hit him with it. Land. Oh, not on me, preferably, please. And he fucking left. You fucking dickhead. I really want my fast forward button to work, and I don't know why it isn't. Yeah, I've always wanted to play Jump Ultimate Stars. That shit looked awesome. Oh yeah, I was telling you before the... Uh... Oh, Reckless is muted. <laughs> That's why. So what are y'all up to? Doing anything fun? I'm just getting murdered by a robot over and over again. It's like it's Groundhog's Day, but murder. You know, or like that Tom Cruise movie that I should probably watch. There you go. Getting two hits in is a lot better than just sort of assuming you're winning. And like, just like move a little. There we go. Yeah, if you just want to keep doing this laser from above thing, it's your best attack. Honestly, I'm really bad at it. You're gonna do the f fucking what is that bullshit? Literally, what is that bullshit attack where he, where he just like he fucking he just like all right, laser the whole screen. I'm gonna beat this guy. I'm gonna do it. 
There's probably such a better way to do this. Like, I'm definitely missing something. I also really want to be able to speed through this shit, because it is like... 80% of this stream at this point is just me getting back to this stupid-ass robot guy. Like, okay, like, I could just, like... Kind of juke him out and not even really care about him. I swear to God, if the key is with that fucking robot boy, I'm gonna... The balls? Definitely not. I, 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 I definitely do not even have the fucking. Uh. Has someone started a death counter? Like, I don't want you to actually do this, but has someone started a death counter for for this year's stream? Like, please don't, honestly. Uh, you know what? Hang on, hang on. Sure, sure. So I can. So I'm kind of curious about this then. But I gotta figure out how it works first. Okay, interesting.
Okay, so I'm reading about a strategy um, that I might be able to use. Why is this set up like this? This is really dumb. Oh yeah, okay, alright, that is cool. I like that. Okay, well that didn't fucking work. Apparently I get this back, so... Oh, nice. Okay, there we go. Beat him. Nice. Alright, and then I just have to get out of here, which is probably not going to happen, so, you know, that's the thing. Well, that's... that was... that was dumb. Audio, uh, not God, Mono Guitar. That, that name means something completely different for me. I don't know. What else can I talk about tonight? I don't even know. Man, I dusted off my amiibo today. And goddamn, like, I don't know, I don't really pay a whole lot of attention to them now, but like, I really love amiibo. <laughs> I really like them, and I'm glad that, um, and I'm like, sad that they have become, like, Nintendo has kind of stopped being interested in them, because they're really cool. Plus I just spent like a lot of 2015, a lot of 2015 hunting down a bunch of amiibo. It was fun, man. It was fun. No! Oh god, I don't like this. I really don't like this level, like at all, actually. Oh, that's good though. Yeah, I don't know if I want to down down to my way down there though. That seems like a pretty bad decision. What the hell? That's so weird. That's not that weird. 
Okay, I don't trust all you stupid hawk boys here. Yeah, just take out two. Two for the price of one. Plus buy one, get one free, which is essentially the same concept when you think about it. Yeah, when I think about it, there's really only two amoebas that I don't have that I feel like I missed that I really didn't, that I really kind of want. Oh no, I don't like any of this shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. This is gonna, wow, this is gonna take an age. Oh wait, oh wait. I have the high ground. It's over. I have the high ground. I've tripled my flip power. No, you haven't. Yeah, I really should come up with something to talk about <laughs> while this while this bullshit's happening. Oh, there it goes. Oh, whatever. I'm actually gonna wait for it to recharge a little bit. But yeah, I don't, I don't even know. I do wish they were still putting out a lot of amiibo, like, cause there's still a bunch of Smash amiibo they could, they could put out too, cause like, they never did a P2 Robin, you know? They could do like another, another, uh, version of Ike too. Oh no, okay, hang on, let me, uh, let me prepare myself for this. Um, um, what? care about what's in that chest because that's just is far too dangerous to let me just get hit by everything you know that seems like a good strategy oh no not one of these guys I don't know if he has any attacks that can hit me, but I'm gonna just stay up here because I don't trust anything. Look, I'm a I I am a slippery, slimy little bastard. Maybe I should be a poison type gym leader, beca just because I am a slippery, slimy little bastard. <laughs> when I play stuff like this, I d I am not above the cheap strategy here. Not at all. Putting poison on the blade of your sword might not be the most honorable thing to do, but you know what? Sometimes if, it, if it's, it's winning is all you really need, and in a game like this that doesn't really want to play nice, I don't care. I should be using spirits that recover Furyoku faster though. Damn it, I called it Furyoku. Like a pleb, like a like a four kid shill. I have the key now, so now I can get back to the door, so that's a good sign. I don't know how, how much I care about you lot though. You know what, at least they're dropping a lot of money, so I can definitely buy plenty of noodles and burgers if I need them. Toxic stalling. I don't know that I have the patience for that sort of shit. Stop! 
God, he's just blue and he walks at me. Like, how am I such a bad player that I just let that happen? Of course, of course. I let stupid. So the exit is here somewhere. Oh, you no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not dying. Oh, he's a Nagatama bead, nice. How many of those do I have now? Two. I think I'm only missing, I think I'm missing one from like this area, which wouldn't surprise me because this is a really large level, but. Uh. Although I can't imagine one level having two Nagatoma beads in it, that'd be kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had a competitive Pokemon team. God, I've been playing Pokemon Go a ton lately. My, um, I had a Pokestop sort of right by... Uh, my house for the longest time and recently it turned into a gym so I can now do the Pokestop from my house which is nice because gyms have extended range right now so like that's super cool but at the same time I've been playing Pokemon Go an awful lot and I've been realizing how much I hate Pokemon Go because like catching Pokemon is mostly RNG unless you know how to actually throw the Pokeball but the game never actually tells you how to throw the Pokeball and really doesn't give you a good indication of whether or not your throw is going to be good or not like, it never really teaches you how to play that, you know what I mean? But, like, I don't know. Plus, it's a resource management issue, which is, makes me stressed out. Nope. You can do that shit all you want. I am not letting you near me. Use of that cleared the screen. Um, and I already forget what I was talking about before this. <laughs> I hope Reckless is okay. He did kind of pop, like pop out real quick, like it's a little odd. Oh, heck, heck. <laughs> Yo doesn't find it. He just says, haha, that's true. Pokemon Go, right, yeah. No, I, I just, like, it's so goddamn tedious trying to, um, figure shit out. Like, I don't know. It's just, like, catching Pokemon is really annoying and, like, a whole lot of stuff. Um, I don't know, it's just, it is really annoying, and like, it takes so long to actually do anything that it's just like, it's so, it, I don't know, it's just a really tedious game, and I feel like a lot of mobile games are sort of manipulative like that, that it's like, ugh. I actually did manage to catch a raid Pokemon this morning. 
I called it Genesect, which was super cool. After, like, failing twice <laughs> previously, which sucks because... Oh, I was talking about resource management. That's why. Because, like... You know, resource management. Oh. I just, like, I'm the kind of person who will save, like, the best items until the end of a game if I can. Because I, I don't know when I'm going to need them, and then I never use them. And then I complain about how hard the game is. <laughs> but it is true, because, like, if you find an item that you only find, like, four of in the entire game, like, there is really is no situation that is special enough for that like you because you don't know if you're gonna heal and then just automatically get trashed you know what i mean I mean, that just, I don't know. The resource management in video games and managing your items just makes me so nervous. It just does. I kind of don't want to start this without, um, without Reckless, because this is the, this is the final level in the game. Obviously, it's the giant black hole on the map. We've done all this. All this is stuff that we've done. You know, I kind of want to, I, like, I, I'll give it a shot tonight, but, like, I'm only if Reckless is here, because I don't think it would be right to do it without him, especially because he, he kept telling me to do it, so, you know. I might as well give it a, I'm only giving it a shot with him around, so. Oh. Are you back, Okay, man? I'm back. Sorry, I was eating a bowl of cereal on, on the light crunch and slurp into the microphone oh damn well so you could have mentioned that i thought you were like somebody was bleeding out because that's just what i assume nah we're good fam we're just eating oh is this the final boss it's the final stage yeah it's um i think there's like three bosses in this level then because lord Going into an abyss. Basically. What kind of abyss? having a moment of silence for something before you begin? No, I was reading strategies for the bosses ahead. Okay. This is a hell of a fucking background. Good lord. Oh, wow. It's Pants Man. Yeah, it's Pants Man. This whole uh, this whole playthrough of this game on stream has been such a has been kind of a weird experience. Although I talk about it in past tense like it's over, but it definitely isn't because I'm really only gonna give this one or two tries before I quit because it's late. <laughs> so we gotta kick pants man in the pants. I'm hoping. I'm I'm I'm, I'm hopeful. You gotta cool down, Matt. See, this is why I love Yo. He says things like, "You gotta cool down." Just simmer down now, Magister. Just, just, uh, just, just calm your titties. It's fine. Oh, 
Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wow, well, that was... Oh, I don't know what that is, but that's scary. Oh, oh, hello, dragon of the darkness flame. Probably not. Okay, well, that's annoying. Oh, I don't like this. This is poopy. Oh, now come on now. Oh, oh, ah, no. I don't really want to do that, but... Oh man, I won without having to heal. Except I kind of have to heal. <laughs> Max SP up, which is great, except it doesn't really do anything for me. Oh no, it's a flaming 3D ball of what the fuck is that actually? Flaming 3D ball of what the fuck? Oh my god, he's wearing a shower curtain. Oh, there he is. Man, with the blast shield down, how does he even see? Oh god, he can poison. That's really annoying. Ah. Actually, no. I want to read. I want to read about this real quick. I'm such a. I'm such a wuss. It is kind of a bummer that he has an attack that poisons, which is really annoying. Oh shit, he's oh sh oh shit, he's shirtless. Oh my god. It's funny he just had a bath towel on for a second there. <laughs> it does kinda look like that, doesn't it? It does. Pants man ain't got no pants. He's not pants man. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh, that ain't pants man? No. Oh, fuck, I died. Well, that's annoying. I'm about, about to tell you to burger up. Yeah, well, I guess I should know better for the next time. I can try that again. That wasn't so bad, actually. It wasn't quite as bad as I thought it would be. I feel like I have a fair shot of this. 
I say, having only seen one attack in my second form. I don't even think I saw an attack. I think I just touched him. I'm gonna give this one more shot. Oh, I thought of one of the other things I wanted to do. I actually, I DM'd this to Tim earlier. But, but uh, I'll, I'll pitch this, uh, this to chat. So I gave Tim a little writing challenge. I said, writing challenge for the day. Develop a context for the line, I'm taking this bitch to school. Uh. And like have it like kind of be actually true. Like, I don't know. Like what, like what concept, like what line, in what context can you say that like angrily? Like I'm taking this, like I heard it in Tim's voice for some reason. It does sound like something Tim would say. It sounds like Tim quoting something else. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, so you just gotta go quick. Wait. Why the hell did he die so fast? <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? I'm very confused. Well, I guess I'm taking this bitch to school. I really want that to be a thing. <laughs> and then he summons the weird ball of data. And shower curtain man. And then he uses the black goo to kill pants man. the burger. I have many of them, so it's not like it's a big deal. Ah, uh, no, I got the... Oh, that was dumb. Oh, alright. I already got his shirt off. You know, because we can take a ride to Canto Bite. Or I will wine and dine you up all night. I'll adorn you in the finest jewels. Girl, my love for you breaks all the rules. I'm gonna fucking die. Our connection. It makes me wet. I'm still confused as to how I actually got wet. I can't show you that music video because you ain't seen the sequel trilogy yet. It's got spoilers in it. Oh! First I take a hit at the very last minute. Way to go, me. Okay, time to eat a burger. Don't know how to avoid that one actually. Oh, is this his final attack thing? Shit, I still got two burgers. Okay, hang on. Let me read about it. Basically, just says dodge, dodge his attacks, and that's real helpful. And that's better than anything. Did Piccolo write that guide? What? Did Piccolo write that guide? I don't know. Probably. Did, did you not get the joke? I get it. It's dodge. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> okay. Hello, 
look, he's got scooter webs. I didn't know you're switching over to Spider Man tonight. I could be. Burger, 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 burger. I love the sound this makes. It's so, like, SNES. Okay, I need to not jump into this. Fucking what?! You ever wish you could hold more than five burgers or three noodles? You ever the wish inventory in this game still just baffles me. It's like a little I, bit. I like, I really want to just use action replay. so weird how few people stream on Sunday nights. You'd think that would be a really good time to stream, but I guess not. I've streamed on Sundays before. I've done it recently. Also... If I'm not using Leap High Long for anything, why don't I just put on, like, something else that can help me die less? Like, Silver Wing. I like it, Tim. I like it. <laughs> that is a really good, like, mundane use for that. It is. It's kind of like, um... Man likes tarot cards. It's kind of like how, um... In the Ed, Ed, and Eddie movie, the, um... <laughs> One of Johnny, li one of Johnny's lines is, uh, "We're taking a bus to justice," and it's just like a stupid ass line. Get out of here! Damn it! See, I'm doing worse this time. I don't know why. God, Ed, 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 fuck! Movie. Fuck! I fuck! 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 That, fuck, like, fuck! Fuck! I didn't see it for the first time until 2016. Yeah, I it took me a while to see it too. I don't like this stupid dragon thing. I hate it. It's gonna make me eat one of my burgers, and I don't want to do that. Stop! No, you move, like, you dick! And like, I don't know, for some reason I always expect like cartoon movies to not be as good as the cartoons themselves they represent, but the Ed and Eddie movie was really good. I love I like that it like really did sort of expand the show's scope at the you know. You know what's mind blowing? Uh, up until like the last season where they're like going back to school and whatnot, all the seasons before that take place in the same summer. I think you've told me that before. Yeah, it's all connected. It's really cool. All right, time for freaking Mephius. Who just reminds me of John Tron making fun of Mephiles. <laughs> Which just reminds me of Johnny Depp in Dark Shadows saying Mephistopheles when he sees the McDonald's sign. Which is really stupid. Wow, look at that friggin' <laughs> ball and chain he's got. That ball and chain weapon. I should probably use a burger. I missed. Like a fucking dumbass. Shirt should come off. Wow, I actually knew. It is really nice be being able to do into the antiquity like super always. Oh fuck! I really wish there was a spirit in this game that would let you survive an attack with one HP because like it's so annoying to have like a third of your health, and then it just gets fucking bopped before you even have a chance to go in and, like, do anything about it. Also, I really miss... Why can I not speed up today? 
Actually, you know what? I might cheese this. I might just like make a save state after I beat Pants Man. Because I'm really not about doing this over and over again. And I feel like I can do this tonight because I almost beat him that one time. So like, whatever. Get, no, stop, 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 stop. God, it fucking pisses me off when it's like, all right, I've done. Okay, all right, now he's just using the same attack over and over again, and it's the one where all the fucking stupid ass bullets go all over the screen. Now there's a fucking dragon. Why was he so easy that time? Why is he just like really easy sometimes and not others? I kind of hate, hate how much Pants Man and Shower Curtain Man are easy, and then I just die on the other one because his, his, his attack power is so goddamn good. You know, wait, what the fuck? None of my... Okay. None of my, um... None of my fucking emulator options are working. Because I can't... My, um, button that usually lets me do save states isn't working. Either. Oh, you're just gonna leave me hanging on that one, okay. Just, uh... Go to file. That's what I ended up doing. What? Yeah, that, that spiky ball attack that he has is fucking ridiculous. It's not that bad, really. And that one's not that bad, either. I'm just being a dumbass about it, I guess. Oh, well then it loaded. No. No, 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 no. No, it's good, it's good. You're on the safe state menu, so don't like, don't save that shit. You saved that shit. I hate my fucking life! Told you not to. Oh, well, now I can fast forward again, which is nice. I don't know what the hell I did. Oh, God. That was dumb. Fucking, I missed. Fucking, fucking stop with your stupid, fucking, stupid shit, fucker. You can't just like, oh, I'm gonna turn into a card now. Loves his tarot cards. Dog. What the fuck? Oh my god. Hey Dustin, welcome. Yeah, no, this uh, this game was made by Konami. In the style of things like Aria of Sorrow and Symphony of the Night. It's just based on anime. Oh my god. Literally, like, literally just kill me, actually. Like, because this is not worth trying. Okay. Why is this so fucking long? No. 
Oh. Explode, I guess. Uh, Fuck. Game Boy Advance. Nope. I was about to say, stop doing that attack. Okay, this is actually a good one. So when the next fight starts, I'll try to do that thing. Um, Shaman King's a really good anime. Um, well, the the manga's good. The anime and the manga are very different. Um, but I, I do recommend the manga a lot. The anime's weird, and the dub especially is not great because it was done by four kids. But, like, totally recommend the manga. And for an anime game, and particularly for one as not popular as Shaman King, this is pretty good. It ain't great, but it is pretty damn good for an obscure anime game. Although I guess Shaman King's not really that obscure. It was in Shonen Jump for a long time. Ah, your stupid flame ball can just go die in a fire, ironically. God damn, he actually got the double dipping on. And I'm stuck. Nice. Okay, burger up. And that was done. Okay, and the shirt's gone. Just recharging my... Yep. Uh, I like how he has arms, like he's in the game arms before arms like came out. Like, a lot before... Okay, oh my god. Looking up his bathrobe. Stop it. Oh, balls. I don't like that attack. Towel, that attack rather. just like kind of always gets me. And I don't really appreciate it. So he's gonna come out there and... Yeah, whatever. Like, okay. You just kind of like... You just gotta kind of predict what side he's gonna come out on. I guess. And yeah, he has attack that can be more than 39, so... Okay, well that worked. Don't go too far, don't go too far. Okay, good. Start doing your stupid Yeah, there we go. I didn't I didn't really want you to start doing that, honestly, but like I guess it's fine that you did. Okay. Nope. Oh, I've only got two hand of this left shit. Recharge the antiquity. Come on, recharge. Oh, fuck, you lucky bastard. Oh, 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 nope. Alright, no, no, use burger. Must use burger. Oh, fuck, no. Got him. I was about to say, he has to be gone because. Okay, I. Actually? No, I didn't even have to cheese it. I did that legit. I didn't use my state, my stady state, so that was good. Take that, bitch. <laughs> How could a little flea such as you defeat me? Is that um. It? 500 years ago, you didn't have this little thing called hamburgers. You also didn't have the red hot chili peppers. Visiting time is over. What a fucking legend. What a fucking legend. Was that the final boss? God fucking descends from heaven and you're just like, visiting time is over, bitch. Can I not be heard? What? Hello? What? Yes, you can. 
Okay, was that the final boss? I, yeah. Okay, I thought so. Rest. Help me. Eh, who cares? Body's disappearing, quick, get my burger. Nope, no burgers. I, I think I ate all of mine, actually. <laughs> Could you imagine just, like, fighting God and or the devil and you just, like, eat five hamburgers throughout the fight? <laughs> You, you beat the god. That's hilarious. You went against the god of the devil, but you get diabetes with the burger. Oh, wow. We get to see their English voice. Wait, really? I thought he was Matt Mercer. He's Sean Schimmel? Rio is? That's hilarious. It's oh, damn Yoko. green. Dan Green was in this game. Okay. I'm learning. Wait, were there seriously not more people in this game than that? <laughs> I thought there were more people. Did Faust not have a voice? Oh, I guess he didn't. I loved Faust. Faust is the best. Yeah, you kind of came in at, like, the wrong time for this. <laughs> To, to like start watching this game but I it's a, it's a decent play if you like Castlevania stuff but Funk is getting salty at the final boss so is it truly the worst time uh yeah I mean honestly I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't that salty it's very possible I mean I did it legit so and actually having five hamburgers was like the best oh we oh, right there's uh Joko we don't talk about him we still don't talk about him. He's a cool jacket. We'll talk about that. Oh, there's June. My, give her a full picture. She's beautiful, please. Oh, also, fun fact. So, uh, in America, when this game and the game... There's a, PS, there's a game for this for the PS2. Um actually when the, those two games came out there was a contest in shonen jump to nickname to name the final bosses like they're you know since they're being localized so uh the name mephius was actually a fan chosen name so that was kind of neat sound program gun i didn't know guns could do sound design that's mildly impressive Oh, there's Lyso, the Lamy bastard. Shaman King PS2 game is a fighting game, apparently. Imagine that, they all are. Oh, wait, there's more than one. Wait, oh, there we Power go. Spirit and Thanks for the follow. Spirit. I like seeing my follow alert because it's Obi Wan twirling his mustache. It's so worth it. Oh my god, wait. Jonathan Brett's from Maryland. I that's where I live. Okay, so the Shaman King fighting game was a Japan, uh, Japan exclusive. The one we got here was Shaman King Power of Spirit. And it's a tactical RPG. That's interesting. I all I remember is that the final boss has like like a plague doctor mask. Thanks for stopping by there, Dustin. Um and he looked really ridiculous, and I forget what they named him, actually. It was something infinitely more stupid than Mephius. Which actually does sound decently cool. You know, there's Funbari Hill. That's where the story actually starts. And so, with everyone pulling together, Magister's plan was foiled, and the threat of Mephius came to an end. The Shaman tournament kicked back in, and things are going smoothly. Yo told me Magister's story. It was pretty sad. <laughs> Everyone, including Yo, tried hard not to think about it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <What> the hell? <laughs> um, I'm 
assuming Amitamaru is narrating here. Well, no, because Amitamaru was in the final fight. Is this Manta narrating, probably? Probably. Or it's just not going to tell us. Oh, it was Finn. That's who it was. Also, it literally did not tell us who it was. Congratulations! Yeah, now put Yo in Smash. That'll never happen. So apparently you obtain the Spirit of Fire, which is uh, the spirit that the main antagonist in the manga uses. So that's neat. Save game data? Yeah, sure, cool. I want to see what it does. Um, apparently it... Um, you gain health for every hit you land on an enemy. Which, to oh, be... that's super useful. Yeah, it is, except I've beaten the game. Now you can do a new game plus. Or go back and get the stuff you missed. Um, yeah, wow, I really have a lot of interest in doing that. Look, I like this game, there's like, you know, 6% missing. There's still game left, you know. Recover health each time you defeat an enemy. Yeah, that would have been useful. Like, halfway through the goddamn game. Like, seriously? Come on now. That would have been awesome. This would have been awesome to have. It also would have, like, not... It's also an ability that you really should have gotten because, like... It doesn't help against bosses, so it's not it's like it's kind of like the uh, the health extension, <clears throat> second health bar rather you get in the first tie that Tasmanian Tiger game. You unlock it by getting all the rainbow shells, but you can't get the final rainbow shells without unlocking the last area. So you basically don't get it until you start the last area, which is really stupid. It is really dumb. I mean, technically, I don't think they expect you to like 100% clear every stage on your first go through but it's very enjoyable to do so that's how i usually play it and i will still maintain that the first tie game is quality even though most people say the second game is better i think the first game is way better yep So anyways, yeah, that's uh, Shaman King Master of Spirits. Now, um, Reckless did send me a folder that included this game amongst others. There are actually a lot of Shaman King games for the uh, GBA, as far as I can understand. I think there was a sequel to Master of Spirits. And then there are two other games, I think? No, that sounds like a lot, but they were like a Pokemon Red and Blue sort of deal. It was like Sprinting Wolf and Soaring Tiger or something. Um, I'm trying Else to... They're also jumping on that boat, which is kind of cool, cool, actually. I kind of like it when games did that back it's, in the day. Like again, Bomberman did it with a couple of games, too, and it's pretty rad. Again, it's surprising that um, Shaman King, of all things, uh, got so many games because it wasn't really that popular, you know? Um, let me look at this here. Oh, Lord. That's really confusing. Well, I think Shonen Anime at this time was incredibly popular. It was really probably just a way to capitalize on that. Yeah, it looks that. like there were actually three Shaman King games that came out in 2005 for the Game Boy Advance. That's so weird. There's a Master of Spirits 2, and then there's, yeah, the other two ones, which is weird, so I don't know. I've never played any of those. Um, I will definitely play 2 at some point on stream, um, and we'll see about Soaring Hawk and Sprinting Wolf, so um, that'll just be a thing at some point, maybe. <laughs> I'd love to hang around for... 
either or both of those. If I can think of, if I can think of more things to say during them, um, I'll have to again. I'll have to read the manga, and like maybe I'll that'll be sort of like a prerequisite for me doing, um, Master Spirits two or whatever. But like we'll see. Um. So obviously there's no stream on Thursday. I don't. Well, I no, it's not obvious. I might still do it, despite the fact that there will be there may or may not be people here. Um, because I get the feeling they'll be out a lot, actually, so that's a thing. Um, but yeah, um, there may or may not be a stream on Thursday. If there is a stream, it'll definitely be Spider-Man, so that's a thing. Um, and then next weekend, I guess I'll probably stream again. I don't know exactly what it'll be yet. I've been wanting to do Shovel Knight, and I would definitely have fun doing Shovel Knight on stream, so that's a thing. Um... Once I play it for myself, I wouldn't mind doing a co-op with you. I think that'd be rad. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. Um, so, yeah, I did it after, what was it, 17 years, or six, seven, 16 years, maybe, I beat Shaman King Master of Spirits for the GBA. That uh, and a, an, an accomplished four streams, four uh, Sunday streams to do it. Uh, this is part five, so yeah, four or five. A, I could, I was couldn't recall if it was four or five, so so yeah, apparently five. So yeah, it's not that bad. According to uh, what was it? According to Game Facts, it says the length of this game is twenty-one hours. It definitely isn't um oh sorry oh it doesn't it doesn't show my load but i it's definitely not that i think i just did it in 10 so that's kind of a thing anyways i guess that's it for this stream um i really don't have anybody to raid or anything um my challenge for the day well, I guess this really only applies to Reckless and Tim, but like, the next time you do a video or a stream, incorporate, I'm taking this bitch to school somewhere in there. Oh, I'll definitely do that. It'll make me very happy. <laughs> make the fuck proud. Yeah. So, that'll be, that'll be, that'll be fun. Um, oh, see, look, I, I was... I was so busy talking to you about visual novels before the stream started, and it was like one of the things I was going to talk about um, on stream a little bit, but I didn't, which is fine because I want to do a video about it. Keep bugging me to do that, please. Um, even if I have to speak quietly for it, I can do that. Um, but yeah. Also. This is so dumb. I just, I've already said bye to the stream and I'm like about to get into this stupid ass fucking story about me driving home from work the other day and like coming down the home stretch and then my fucking tire light comes on. That was annoying. <laughs> oh man. I'm like, I'm kind of relieved that I'm buying new tires because like I've had bad luck with the ones I have. Shit gets caught in them all the time. Like, what the hell? I had to buy new tires last summer. That was uh, six hundred bucks. But six hundred, wow. I mean, you don't ever get the cheapest tires manual. You want to get at least one step up from that because that's mine were like that. And in my area in wintertime, road conditions are fucking awful. <laughs> mm. So I always get a decent set of tires. So I don't have to worry about winter so much. Yeah, mine were like three. Keep in mind, I also drive a truck. Oh, well, that there we go, then. That makes more sense. It's not a big truck, though. It's a small truck. You drive a truck, huh? Colorado, specifically. That's what my dad drives. Oh, what? Mine's Brad. It's got a, it's black with a stripe. It's got a nice white stripe. Which one is it? Is it Jack or Meg? <laughs> It took me a second to process that joke. 
That's kind of like the old the old joke. Whenever we saw a beetle in the pool, we were like, "Which one is it?" I'm so sick of that joke. Anyways, I'm a STFU now because I beat the game and we're done with it. So, go read yeah, Shaman King. Go read. Go read Shaman King, the manga. It's really good. The characters are cool. The art is cool. Yo is the best shonen protagonist. Fight me. Um, that's but what if I need to read more uh, Dragon Ball Super? What if, what if I need to catch up on that new chapter of the manga? What do you mean, what if? Well, well what if I still have to do that before I read Shaman King? Then do it. It'll take you all of five minutes to read a fifth grade level comic. That's harsh. You're a smart man. I'm fine. I, mean, I am. Yeah, now that this is over, I just want to, like, cripe. The last time I finished a game on stream was Final Fantasy VI, <laughs> which seems a couple worlds away now, doesn't it? It just makes me want to do the Everyone likes a little fanfare. Alright, I'm going. Alright, I'm going. I'm going now. Bye. Bye, y'all. Have a good night. Bye.